hello friends welcome to testing shala youtube channel in this video we are going to learn about what is all about localization testing or l10 n testing if you have visited testing shala youtube channel for the first time then please click on subscribe and bell notification so that all our future videos related to software testing will be in your inbox that would help you to enhance your software testing skills so let's understand what is all about localization testing your application or a product is been implemented non english let's say your product supports china chinese japanese or any international languages then the localization testing is very important which you should perform to validate whether the application is getting appropriately localized to their local environment so let's understand one by one so what all the things we do in localization testing and what are the way we will be testing it a localization testing is nothing but it focuses on language translation for example let's say i wanted to open a product in english language then that is a default language and the same application if i wanted to open in hindi then the complete application or product features should be translation into hindi or kannada urdu telugu tamil chinese japanese if any of these people access in their own languages then your product should be able to support that then the product should be able to translate their ui element or many other factors into their respective languages so that is a main funda of localization then how we are going to test the localization i am going to tell you in the coming section let's understand what all the things we will be testing in localization so in localization testing we normally uh, check it on the gui elements there are various uh, elements in the gui which is made up of the pages the ui pages where your application can take the values or inputs you need to validate let's talk example uh, date field time if you are going in uh, different different languages these fields in a put in a different way Uh, let's say if you are accessing uh, date and time it would be different in english if you are accessing in chinese it different then um, let's talk about numeric pad or numeric elements chinese numbers are different kannada numbers are different telugu numbers are different japanese numbers are different in the same way if it is a monetary monetary formats let's talk about uh, monetary formats such as indian will have INR rupees US will have USD US dollars then Japanese will have different currency then uh, Chinese will have different currency your application should be able to handle those fields in appropriate manner you should not show when Jap Japanese uh, opens application you should not show the indian currency whenever they open their ui in their respective country or in their respective languages then the appropriate uh, language ui should get translated that is the main funda the main intention of testing is that whether all the ui elements when we are moving from one language to another language then appropriate changes should happen to the gui element that is the first key element which we need to test the second thing which we need to test is if your product and application will have online l then when i am changing uh, to japanese or chinese or hindi then the even uh, online help also should change appropriately and you should also be able to display in the appropriate languages and any error messages any error let's say when username and password is invalid then if, uh, when i click on uh, login button Uh, then it will say invalid username or password when i am open same thing in J chinese japanese then error message should get translated appropriately in their locals so one thing will have to validate it should not pop up in only english you should be able to translate into their local languages that is the main importance creating the all the error messages 
because just to validate whether error messages are really hard coded or not. Normally, when the product is supported in the localization, the error messages should not get hard coded and you should patch the things from the resource bundles. Uh, every languages will have different resource bundles and it has to map to those resource bundles and it has to take the appropriate inputs from the respective language bundles. That is the third important thing which we need to test in localization is error messages. Then the fourth important thing which we are going to validate is all the documents such as user manual, installation guide, release notes, etc. Any document which you are going to provide to the client or customers, then whenever the application they open in Chinese or Japanese, then appropriate documents uh, should get translated into their own languages or they should be able to get the appropriate language documents. That is the third thing we will be validating as part of the localization testing. Then the last not the least is validating the GUI functionality and nothing strange as happens. We will be completely testing all the GUI flows just to ensure that when we are doing a language transition we should, not we should ensure that we should not break any functional changes. Everything should work as expected irrespective of whatever the language we are going to change. Then the last validation you are going to make is error messages for correctness and consistency. As we discussed earlier, in any language if you are translating those error messages, you should have a right meaning, you should have consistency in displaying the error messages irrespective of the language which I am opening the application. So these are the six important things we will be doing as part of the localization testing. I hope you clearly get hold of the what is all about localization testing or L10N testing. So I hope you clearly understood what is localization testing. If you enjoyed watching this video, please click on like button. If you have visited Testing Shala YouTube channel for the first time, then please click on subscribe button and bell notification so that all our future videos related to software testing will be in your inbox that would help you to enhance your software testing skills. Thanks for watching this video. Bye for now. Take care.